Machine learning is a domain of computer science that has evolved from the study of pattern recognition and computational learning theory in artificial intelligence. Machine learning explores the study and construction of algorithms that can learn from and make predictions on data. Such algorithms operate on building a model, for example, inputs in order to make data-driven predictions or decisions, rather than following strictly static program instructions. So with this pattern, we introduced the Oracle Stream Analytics machine learning support using k-means clustering. K-means clustering is an algorithm that discovers group patterns in data. This is a streaming k-means implementation where data groupings, clusters, are dynamically updated and visualized on each incoming event. Clustering can be used to build anomaly detection systems where low density clusters, few members, are considered to hold uncommon events. First, we'll give this pattern a name, followed by a description and tags, which can be used later to search in the catalog. The k-means clustering pattern requires the following parameters. Event stream is a previously created event data stream of shapes in which this unsupervised machine learning pattern can analyze. In this example, it is a traffic flow data from a sensor in one of the cities of the United States. Value 1 is an event shape property for one of the attributes available in the streaming event shape. Value 2 is the second event shape property for another one of the attributes available in the streaming event shape. N clusters is a number of anomaly clusters to be monitored in the stream of event shapes. An event found to be in the smallest cluster is classified as an anomaly. Allow a few minutes for the machine learning model to be trained in memory, watching the provided chart to identify the anomaly cluster outliers. Notice that on certain days of the week and times of the day, single clusters are appearing which are indications that an anomaly is occurring. Here I am selecting some of the individual clusters to get more information. And finally, here I am selecting a specific column in my live output stream, which provides us to do more detailed analysis of the anomalies.